it's get yeah, it's getting there. It's a strong cat two, which is one ten. One three starts at one eleven and it's forecast to go. This is part of the forecast here. This is going out now. The yellow is the tropical storm force winds. That's why it's been that breezy out there. That's why they have tropical storm warnings from Key West to Miami and all the way up, right? But this is what I wanted to show you because that orange and that red that's right there, that's 60 mile per hour wind. That's 75, 74 mile per hour wind or higher. And in fact, somewhere in there is 110 mile per hour winds, right? This, especially this side here, is blowing water towards the coast. It's been doing it for a while. But the surge that's coming from this, I, I know the water's been high, but the surge that's coming with this storm is mainly out here still. It's not even close yet. So we're going to add another two to three feet to what you're seeing out there right now in many locations, right? So let's go out in time here. We'll take this out through five o'clock. The highest winds stay just off of our coast. Now, and this is a forecast from the Hurricane Center. This is why I say we get 50 and 60 mile per hour winds. That's essentially what the orange is right along the coast. And then from that, you will get gusts in the 70s. Some spots are going to get a gust near 80 to 80 miles per hour. But the, the key is this is 5 o'clock this afternoon. It's not far from now. I don't know what time is it here? What are we looking at? Uh, what have we got? 2 o'clock, 2.30. So two and a half hours. The wind will turn on shore, it will pick up, and that water will come up. And that is going to be when the water really starts to come up. And then as we go through about seven o'clock, it's still doing it, right? So five o'clock, six o'clock, seven o'clock. Let's go out to nine o'clock. Still have those winds on there. 5 p.m. to 9 p.m. The highest winds that we're really going to get out of this might go a little bit closer to 10, but that's going to be some of the highest water as well. Now, here's the other thing. The tide's coming up. Another high tide's at about 2 in the morning, okay? It's not, uh, it's coming up, plus the wind is still going. It's not as much wind, but that water's not coming back. It wouldn't come back if it, if it could, right? So that is going to keep those water levels high. I'm thinking certainly 9, 10, 11, 12, midnight tonight into about 1 a.m. is when we're going to see some of those highest water levels. And then you see by about 2 a.m., look at the bottom of the winds. Manatee, Sarasota County, we're actually starting to see less wind, right? It's, it's really coming down. By the time we get towards about 4 or 5 in the morning, Tampa, is starting to see a whole lot. We'll see a whole lot less wind after about midnight, but the tropical storm force winds will be moving away. Now it's going to stay breezy all night. It's going to stay breezy most of tomorrow too, but those winds in excess of about 35 to 45 miles per hour, those will be exiting the area. Well, probably most of you are sleeping tonight after about 2 a.m. And then you can see the track taking it up into Georgia. And look, we're focused here, right guys? But if you've got friends or family in the panhandle of Florida, Southwest Georgia, uh, the high country of uh, South Carolina and up into the mountains, they're probably going to see 15 inches of rainfall in some of these areas. The winds have come down perhaps a little bit for the forecast for Atlanta, but Atlanta could easily see wind gusts in the 50s and 60s, if not higher, and they'll get even higher gusts down here in southwest Georgia. They're going to get really good storm coming through there. Now, the tides, and as I was mentioned, we're going towards low tide, but what the water levels have been doing, they peaked a little bit, the tide started to drop, and really it was more so this afternoon. It was, it was probably about 12 to 1 o'clock that the tide was really starting to fall. And the water levels, they, they started the peak, I mean, or drop, I should say, but they're starting to come back up because of that wind. So by the time low tide gets here is when the wind really kicks up. And so that's why we expect that water to go even higher. I think that surge peak is going to be not at 520. Obviously, it's going to be somewhere in this area right in here, which is 10, 11 o'clock this evening, maybe a little bit later. Five to eight foot is what the Hurricane Center is still calling. Uh, we've got about two now, which means we could add at least another three foot. So look out right now where that water is and look at kind of look at that uh, altitude there, that elevation and think another two to three feet easily for most areas. 8 to 12 is the total storm surge that's forecast for Pasco and Hernando County. And 10 to 15, you get up towards Inglis uh, and Crystal River, right? Crystal River had seven feet with a dahlia. If they get just the minimum, they've got three more feet than that, right? And, and a lot of folks up there, thank goodness, Jen Titus has been telling us they are taking it seriously. And we're really glad to hear this because look, guys, the center's going to stay about 150, 160 miles offshore. Adalia was actually very similar, but Adalia just wasn't as big of a storm as what 
this Helene is. And that's the reason. It's that big wind that's going around it. The heaviest rain has been offshore. We got really lucky so far with that. There's actually probably a few tornadoes or at least water spouts right out there. We're going to watch this band here. That's mainly over on the east coast. But the rainfall totals will start to add up. You can see this is just rainfall estimates for the colors, right? It's obviously highest along the coast. The numbers generally in the green here have been about a half an inch, maybe a little bit more than that. But in the blues, you're starting one to two inches. You can see Bradenton, uh, Sarasota area. There's some spots there that's a little bit more than that. We really kind of dodged it so far because you got three and four and five inches out here in some of these purple spots. So this too, I hate to say it, this too will come in this direction, five, six, seven, eight o'clock tonight. But Obviously, if it's here now and it moves to the east, it's only going to really cover this area here, and that's why we'll get much less rainfall for inland locations, at least for the majority of inland locations. Here's the forecast model, our forecast model. So by 6 o'clock, there it is. See all that rain that's just offshore? It's now onshore by 5 to 6 o'clock. I left the house today and I said, you kids need to go outside and play because you can right now. You can't later. So get them out there and let them run around as long as it's safe and they're not in the water, right? Uh, because they're not going to be able to do that. The winds will steadily pick up for the evening hours. This is the Hurricane Center forecast, the white cone. This model is our in-house model graph. It's an IBM based model. Uh, you can see our model and it's been so consistent. A little bit on the right side up here. Like Perry, Florida is right about there and it's been right in this area for landfall. Hurricane Center is still back out here, although they have shifted just a little bit towards the east. That's about midnight tonight. We are really starting to quiet things down as we get through that time period. And again, slowly things get better overnight tonight into early Friday morning.